Hello, greetings, and welcome to Dividend Blasters. This is our 58th video. Our topic today is strategic dividend investing. Well, I will turn 600 shares of Altria Group, ticker symbol MO, into $2 million. First, before I do that, a little housekeeping, a disclaimer. I'm not sure at financial advisor. So what I say here should not be taken as financial advice. The purpose of this video is for information and education. It reflects my own opinions, my research, and my more than 30 years of experience as an independent investor. So please do your own research. Consult a financial advisor prior to making any financial decisions. So what is Altria Group? Altria Group is a tobacco company. It's a cigarette company. And they have various lines of products. They have combustible tobacco like the Marlboro cigarettes in black and mild. They also have smoke-free tobacco products like Copenhagen. And they have other stuff as well. I'm giving you the website. You can do more research. Most of us know what Altria is. Most of us have seen their brands. What I'm going to do is I want to get into the numbers quickly and to show you why it's a good investment and how you can grow it successfully. So let's get to some of those numbers. The revenue is high. It has typically been in the mid $20 billion range since 2020. What is really of great importance is the dividend. And that's why we invest in the Altria Group. We invest in it because it has a growing dividend. It's a dividend king. They've been increasing their dividend for more than 50 consecutive years. You can see back in 2020, they were paying a dividend of 344 per share. 2021 went up to 360. 2022, 376. What you don't see on this slide is they just increased it again. It is now $3.92 a share. So a little bit of background, some corporate facts. Um, this, as a, as a tobacco company, is what we would call a very responsible tobacco company. They have a core value of transitioning adult smokers to a smoke-free future. We all know that smoking is not a healthy habit. It's not. Um, and if you're not a smoker, don't start. However, there are millions of people that are smokers. And they are addicted to smoking and they can't stop. They need help. There's ways to do this. There's ways to transition them to a smoke free future. And that is really one of the really great things that Altria does. Um, and you can see in the second panel here, they are also dedicated to reducing harm of their tobacco products. They've got a, a variety of tobacco free products. They also have outreach to prevent underage use of tobacco. You can see the web address there. You can research this and look at it at your leisure. Um, but their vision is to responsibly lead the transition of adult smokers to a smoke-free future. So they are a part of the consumer staples market sector. So we all know that there are 11 market sectors. They're in consumer staples. They are in the tobacco industry. They have 6,300 employees. They've been around a long time. They were founded in 1822. They are headquartered in Richmond, Virginia. Recently, and I just mentioned this, they raised their dividend by 4.3%. Quarterly dividend went from 94 cents to 98 cents. So that translates to about $3.92 a year. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So they closed today, um, Tuesday, September 12th, at $44.87 a share. And this is what I like about this stock. This is a very affordable investment. Earnings per share, $4.99. As you can see, it is more than sufficient to meet that forward dividend rate of 392. The PE ratio is 8.9. So compared to the S&P 500, this is very cheap, but it makes more sense to even look at their peers. Um, the peers all tend to have uh, lower PE ratios. This is very favorable. 
I'm going to show you that in just a bit. Market cap, a little under $79 billion. And you know what? Look at that dividend yield, forward yield of 8.82%. Now, you might say, wow, that's pretty high. I wonder if this is a dividend yield trap. It is not. It is not because they have continuously increased their dividend. They've done it for more than 50 years. This is a company that is delivering a growing dividend to its investors. So who are their peers? Well, you can see in the top panel, it's British American Tobacco, Japan Tobacco, Imperial Brands, Philip Morris International. So Altria and Philip Morris used to be all one and the same. Philip Morris International split off. They're now the International Tobacco Company. Altria is the U.S. Uh, tobacco Company. And then the one to the far right, RLX uh, Technology. Interesting. Uh, you can see that the trading price is, uh, I mentioned, $44.46. Uh, British Americans, around $33. Uh, Japan Tobacco is only $11. Imperial Brands is 22. These are all fairly cheap. I would say that really their key competitor is Philip Morris International, and that's overseas. Um, and so if you want to evaluate really the two leading brands, I'd say it's it's Altria and it's Philip Morris International. Uh, and Altria is about half the price, which I do like very much. I would also point you in the direction of the market cap Philip Morris International is almost twice as big as Altria, but Altria is bigger than everybody else. British American Tobacco is close, but really it's Philip Morris International and Altria. I do like the dividend yield, 8.82% for Altria. Uh, Philip Morris looks like it's about 5.37%. So in addition to that, I'm also looking at a growing dividend. Look at the five-year CAGR. Looks like it's 6.69% for Altria and for Philip Morris International, 3.15%. So looking at those two, I like to see a threshold of 10% exceeded. Um, when I'm looking at those two metrics, Philip Morris does it. Uh, I'm sorry, Altria does it. Philip Morris does not quite make it, but they're close. Uh, Philip Morris International has a growing dividend streak of 14 years. Altria blows them away, 53 consecutive years. Let's look at the bottom panel, total return, um, and it's really Altria. It's over 5,000%. Philip Morris is about 280%. And I'm looking at the max time frame, so I'm looking at as far back as you can go. Philip Morris can go back about 14 years. Altria can go back over 30, uh, according to Seeking Alpha. Uh, so it's really Altria. And remember, the total return is price appreciation plus dividends. And that's really why we're buying this. You know, you should not expect um, the price to skyrocket for Altria. It's just not going to happen. It's a consumer staple. Um and so you're buying it really for the dividend, and it's a growing dividend. So uh, comparing the P-E ratio, uh, let's just go back. I would like to go back. The P-E ratio for Altria is 8.9, and the earnings per share is 4.99. Let's go back here. The P-E ratio for the Dow Jones is 25, much, much higher. And uh, let's look at the dividend yield. Dividend yield for the S&P 500, $1.56. Much higher, as I mentioned, for Altria. What is that again? Let's take a look at that dividend yield. That dividend yield is $3.92. So it's much better, and it's 8.82%. So it really blows away the S&P 500 as far as the dividend yield, and it's much cheaper uh, than the Dow and the S&P 500. This is really interesting, and this is really where they set themselves apart. Consecutive years of dividend growth, 53 years. The sector median at very best, 14 years. And you can see the dividend history. It's always, always increasing. Okay, look at that. 
look at that bottom panel the history you can't even see anything b uh, before 1990 and then as far as quarterly dividend payments it's almost a dollar so you're almost getting four dollars a year per share the share price is around 44 dollars so you're almost getting 10 percent yield not bad what are some of the other metrics to look at that support a growing dividend earnings per share you can see in the last two or three years it's been arching up as well as the earnings before income taxes and depreciation let's keep going uh, i already talked about total return that's going up free cash flow margin so this is basically unlevered cash and you really got to have a robust and growing cash flow altria has it take a look how it's really going uh, i would say parabolic since 2023 it's really going up they're doing beautifully here gross profit margin and net income margin are both going up since 2022 the orange line is the gross profit margin the blue line is the net income margin um just a thing of beauty and it's really since 2022 they've really both been going up so i like to look at gross profit but i also like to look at that net income margin dividend grades seeking alpha gives them a pluses a pluses they give them a b minus for dividend safety i'm not sure why probably because the dividend payout ratio is 75 percent but i will point you to that little factoid that i shared at the beginning they just raised their dividend again just this month uh so they're going strong and again i mentioned the dividend yield 8.82 percent and the five-year dividend CAGR, 6.69%. That's going to get you to around 15% total. That's above that hard and fast 10% threshold that we dividend um, investors like to see. They got a dividend growth streak of 53 years. They're a dividend king. They're dividend royalty. Now, let's get to the cheddar here, okay? I mentioned that you can take 600 shares of this and not everybody has 600 shares i have 600 shares but i've been investing in altria for many years um my balance is around twenty seven thousand dollars uh if i continue to go ahead and invest five hundred dollars a month which is about six thousand dollars a year i pay the tax and um given the the current dividend yield uh around 8.6 8.8 um, and an expected annual dividend increase, let's say it's 3.9%. This is really coming from marketbeat.com. And I'm just going to use a conservative price appreciation of 3%. And looking at 30 years, what's this going to turn into? Well, you can see the calculations at the bottom. I'm going to show you the graphs in a bit. But after 30 years, we're going to have 2.1 million. So really, starting with about $27,000 it's going to be 2.1 million it's a total return of 938% average annual return that comes out over 30 years of about 8.11% per year annual dividend income at the end of 30 years is going to be $251,000 if you add up all those dividends each year that are reinvested it's 1.66 million dollars what's the yield on cost the yield on cost is 109%. And that's basically your dividend payment that you're receiving over your investment. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here's Here it is shown graphically. So total dollars, as I mentioned, in that first panel is going to be about $2.1 million. And you can see that really in the first 10, 12, 13 years, it's going to go up very slow. But it's really going to start to separate from that bottom axis at around year 20 and then it's going to really really start to go up that's really where the dividend snowball takes effect and then the total dividend dollars is absolutely amazing you can see it's really the same um growth but it actually starts to separate more this is really after 30 years you're going to be at around two hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars annually now this is 30 years i will tell you that i'm probably not going to wait 30 years i'm probably going to start to pull down some of it uh before then uh because i won't need it and remember i'm going to be dripping 100 
So as I'm dripping, I'm going to typically be probably gaining 60, 70, 80 shares a year uh, in the early time frame. But uh, it'll start to really grow parabolically. And then the last panel is yield on cost. I already talked about that at, at year 30, it'll ultimately become 109% yield on cost, which is an outrageous uh, metric. Um, absolutely outrageous. Let's go to the next slide. And this is really uh, showing you the numbers in a table format. So you can be, basically see that in year one, the principal is about 26.9K. Uh, and then let's go to year 10. After 10 years, you're going to be at about 152K. And that yield is going to go from 8.6% to 9.3% because you're continually growing. The yield on cost is amazing. It's going to double in 10 years from 8.8% to 18.19%. And the after drip value will go from 28000 165,000. This is just the first 10 years. The principal goes from 800. Wow. The increase in the principal in that first year is going to be $807. Okay. In 10 years, you're going to be increasing that principal by about $4,500. And this is before your annual contribution of $6,000. And at the end of 10 years, you're going to be about 74K. Beautiful. Let's go to year 25. Year 25, you're going to start out at $1 million. Tell you what, that's good enough. Um, beautiful. Yield on cost will be 66%. And wow, before the $6,000 contribution, you're going to, that principal is going to increase just from the drip of $30,000. At the end of 25 years, you'll be at $1.16 million. You can take a look at this at your leisure. But this is really uh, what I would call a dividend gem if you will. And folks, that's it. That is it. So I would, I do hope you found this to be uh, informative and educational. And I would kindly ask you to give us a like on this video and subscribe to our channel here at Dividend Blasters and share the video with a friend and hit that notification bell. So every time we put out a new video, you'll automatically know. You can also follow us on Twitter at Dividend Blast 99. I'm also on Instagram at Dividend Blasters. Until our next video, have a wonderful day and God bless.